Now, as I was working, I realized that I was already too close to my row, and I wasn't going to need to do another row. So when I got to this point, I finished this stitch, and I anchored it down. And I came on up, and I did my next stitch. And I did the first half of the double brussels, and on the second half of the double brussels, I took my thread under the cordonet, and then came back over the top and worked my double brussels then moved over and worked my next double brussels. When I finished this double brussels, I ran my thread underneath the cordonet, and I'm going to anchor it there with one more stitch, and then make my next and last double brussels here. I'm going to make the first half of my double brussels, and then the second half of my double brussels, this is slightly different than our normal stitch, and then anchor that out. There we go. Now I just need to whip back and catch this stitch in the center. So I'm going to whip under the cordonet catch that stitch and pull it to the center and that will anchor off those stitches. So rather than whipping all of my final row, I worked my final row around the cordonet with the exception of the center stitch. The end result is the same. And now we simply need to work the cap, and I'm just going to do a fairly tight single brussel stitch there, and then we will work the buttonhole stitch around the outside edge to finish the piece. Um, I wanted to point out one other thing. I neglected to catch this thread underneath my previous stitches as I was working, and when I realized that, I left a tail so that I can lay it in and catch it as I work the buttonhole stitch. Because I'm working in color, that might actually show in the final piece. We'll hope not. 